Good evening. In part two of my conversation with Mercier's men's hockey head coach Rick Gock, and he talks about the transition to Division I play, the success of his players, and what hockey is all about. The 1999-2000 hockey season was another stepping stone for the Mercier's men's program. As the Lakers made the leap to Division I, they also joined the 10-team Metro Atlantic Athletic Conference. A season later, the Lakers won the MAC Conference Tournament and earned an automatic bid to the NCAA Division I National Tournament. It's crazy how long it's been and how fast the time goes, as you know, but uh, you know, we got the first bid out of a, a league that really was uh, an emerging conference, the MAC. Um, and back then, you have to also understand that uh, only 12 teams went. So uh, now there's 16 teams that go, but back then only 12 teams went, and there were two regions. One was Albany, New York, and one was Grand Rapids, Michigan. And I can remember Red Berenson, the legendary coach, from Michigan being on ESPN as they interviewed him at his watch party in, uh, in Ann Arbor saying, you know, we never really heard of a Mercyhurst and we don't know what to expect. And What the nine-time champion Wolverines got was a Lakers team that nearly pulled off a major upset. Michigan may have won the first round game four to three, but it was Mercyhurst that became a national sensation. I remember Dan calling in our bookstore, calling me, going, you can't believe what's going on. We, we're selling all of our merchandise. Everything's gone. Like People are calling from all over the country wanting a Mercyhurst t-shirt or a hat because you couldn't buy that stuff anywhere. To find a Mercyhurst piece of uh, paraphernalia, uh, you, know, you had to go uh, to the Mercyhurst bookstore. Since 2001, the Lakers have been to two more national tournaments, joined the Atlantic Hockey Association in 2003, and have had several players sign professionally. In my 32 years, we, we've had seven players sign NHL contracts, which, you know, is remarkable when you think about uh, when you think about that. And again, you know, these these are kids that uh, uh, that really, you know, they were committed, they were focused, uh, they did great academically first and foremost. You know, uh, they added so much to our university away from the rink. You know, and they worked at their craft. Even the coaching tree grows year after year. Pete Aubrey working full time for the uh, Chicago Blackhawks, and uh, Neil Graham is the head coach with the uh, uh, Dallas or the Texas Stars, so the American League affiliate for the um, uh, for the Dallas Stars. Uh, Tony Borkford working uh, with the Edmonton Oilers. Uh, uh, certainly, you know Mike Sisti is you know has, has come out of our program. Dave Smith is a Division One head coach. Bobby Ferraris is very successful uh, prep school. Co I mean, the the list goes on and on and on. And uh, again, that's a reflection of Mercyhurst University. As Gawkin anxiously awaits next season, he reveals what the true meaning of hockey is all about. I don't care what level you play at, it's about the friendships you make, it's learning about commitment, it's learning about teamwork, it's learning about being a little piece of something bigger than yourself, you know, and you know, when, when kids graduate and move on, you know, they all tell me the same thing, they miss the locker room, and I don't care what level that is, or where it is, they miss being around their, their friends in the locker room before practice, after practice, before games, after games, you know, and Mercier has done a wonderful, wonderful job of that, not just in ice hockey, but across the board.